Peggy 16. Hi, I'm Ryan Elam, Technical Director of Planetside 2. And I'm Tramel Isaac, Senior Art Director for Planetside 2. And we're here today to talk about Forgelight. So Forgelight is the name that we've given to our core engine. It's our set of tools for the designers and artists, to the client and the renderer, to the server behind the game. So Planetside 2 had a single vision, and that's big, massive battles. To make Planetside 2 actually work, we really needed an engine capable of handling thousands of players on the server, capable of handling all the action at a fast pace, and capable of rendering modern, good-looking graphics. We had the Planetside 1 engine. Uh, it did a great job of getting around a thousand people to fight with each other, but we needed to go bigger. Uh, and Forge Lite was already an engine that handled several thousand players on its servers. So it became a natural progression for us to switch from the Planetside 1 engine to the Forge Lite engine. So the Forge Light engine allows us to have thousands of players uh, all interacting with each other, all shooting each other at very, very high speeds. Millions and millions of shots, hundreds of man hours of playtime per day uh, from all of our players. It has to be filtered through all these different servers and has to be tracked. You know, we, we literally know everything that every player does. We know when your galaxy flies into a tree to being able to obviously get you guys the things that you buy to the tool sets that we create so that designers can get content done quickly and balance our weapons quickly. And we also have the awesome graphics engine that allows this guy to do incredible things. The Force Light engine allows us to have all the graphic uh, abilities as any other first person shooter. We've set this scene up to demonstrate fog shadows and volumetric fog. As you can see, the sun in the background is casting shadows based on the thickness of the fog. Next, we demonstrate how clouds interfere with the light and cast shadows over the terrain. Here's an example of our advanced shader network and all the different layers that complete the look of this character. Take notice of the reflection of the world in the character shoulder pad. All the details in the leather, the different types of materials that make up this character. Forge Light allows us to create very realistic looking material. As we zoom in on this helmet, notice the different material types. The red paint has a different metallic sheen than the gray, and notice how the rubberized material also has a very high detail. That all remains even if we zoom out. Here's a time-lapse video of the day-night cycle within the Forge Light engine. Notice how the sun and the moon move across the sky as time passes. Here we have dynamic reflective cube maps. The moon is the only light in the scene, Yet the nebula and the satellites also reflect off the first person weapon. I've tossed a smoke grenade in the scene to demonstrate how particles are lit in Forge Light. As I walk through the trees, you can see how the sun shines through the back of the leaves. Also demonstrated here are lens effects that mimic dust on the camera lens. Bounced light from the road illuminates the shadowed rocks in this scene. The sunlight dims as the clouds pass in front of the sun. That concludes our brief demonstration of Forge Light. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on Araxis. Sony.